So what's going on guys, Cades here and welcome back to a brand new video. And for today I have made the top 10 list of the best free for all creative maps in Fortnite. So in today's video you'll be able to see a huge castle, you'll be able to fight in a kingdom, in a ship, three times as large as Tilted Towers map, in a skyscraper and even more. So specifically for team deathmatches or aka free for alls I have made only the best top 10 lists of the best ever maps. So whenever I was making the list, I didn't try to find only the ones who look good, but as well function and are really good for server ping. Like we know for PvP, aka team deathmatch to play with your friends, you need a good servers. So I found only the best servers, the best map designs, as well the best weapons and weapon presets you will get so you can fight. So guys, if you want to find out only the best maps ever, the most creative ones and the most fun ones that you will be able to play with your friends from four to 16 players in a single map, so if you're all up for that, let's get right into it. So let's take a look at the first map. This is a huge skyscraper. Yes, you'll be able to fight up to 16 people in a skyscraper with even up to 150 rooms. So every specific room is for something else. In one, you'll be able to fight with shotguns, in one with grapplers, in the third, in SMGs and so on and so forth. If you're looking for one of the biggest, best looking maps ever and with 150 rooms, yeah, this is the one for you. Not only it looks good, but as well you can use airplanes and actually fight in the middle of the air. So you get randomly respawned in one of those 16 locations, you get a preset, you can open chests and you can start fighting. So taking a look at the second map, yes this is the ship map. You'll be able to fight in a ship, there's a bunch of bounce pads, jump pads, bunch of weapon presets. Commonly this map is made for shotguns only, so you can use grapplers and shotguns. No sniping or no like really huge range weapons allowed in this map so making it a bit more fun and enjoyable. I wouldn't say this map is one of the biggest but definitely one of the best looking ones. If you are into like that Chinese aka Japanese map look with a ship, bunch of tools to kill each other and just have fun in, then this is the map for you. Going over to the third map, yes, you will be able to fight in a kingdom. This is a huge castle with bunch of towers, secret passageways, ways to go and rooms to open chests in. So one of four players will be spawned in one of the four different rooms. Each of you will get a huge chest so you can open and get whatever you want. Shields, health, weapons, grapplers, bounce pads, whatever. So choose your preset and start fighting. Whenever you die, you will get respawned back with the full preset so you don't have to get health and everything else back right away you get it and can start fighting redeploy is off so in my opinion that will make it a bit more fun so the fall damage and just the movement around the map will be a bit slower so making it a bit more enjoyable yes in my opinion this map looks really amazing there's a bunch of rooms bunch of secret ways to fight in like per usual for all free for alls, no building whatsoever. So if you're in all that type of stuff, then this is the map for you. So going over to the next map, this one is the cave map. Yes, there's a huge cave in which you can fight. Again, bunch of chests, bounce pads, grapplers, weapons that you can use. Not only you'll be able to see the cave, but as well some textures and furniture, which you can use to your advantage. Like I previously mentioned, no building whatsoever, even grapplers, bounce pads and jump pads are not allowed. So everything will be on the ground. You will be able to see like a bunch of like trees, just grass and stuff. So making it a bit more fun and I guess a bit more stealth. So you can sneak up on your enemies, try to find in, try to get some allies. This map is up to four people. And yeah, there are a bunch of cool spots you can fight in and the map itself looks amazing. Okay, so the next map. In my opinion, this is the best map so far. Huge tilted towers. In all of these buildings, you'll be able to find weapons, guns, presets. There's a bunch of rooms in which you will be able to fight. You can allow building or no building. In my opinion, it could be actually fun to build with only if you have limited materials. Like for every free for all map, you'll get a bunch of presets. You'll be able to open chests and start fighting. The fun part is that this is actually tilted the towers. So first things first, you can train your friends to overcome and be good in tilted towers. So using this map as a training ground. Second of all, you can start sniping from each tower. So for example, each of you pick a tower and start only free for all sniping. And third option, of course, is just to go around the map, start building, start killing each other. Whenever you die, all of your things get respawned back again. I play this map personally myself and in my opinion I enjoyed it the most. Okay so going over to the next map, this one is actually interesting. So the whole theme itself is Japanese in forest. So yeah there are a bunch of buildings, I guess parkour as well is a thing in this map. 
So if you want to get the high ground on your enemies or wherever, you can just like parkour through it and get a full overview of the map itself. So I guess you can easier kill each other. The one thing I like about in the map where there are a bunch of trees that you're not able to see your enemy, so making it a bit more fun and stealth. So like in previous maps, you can like sneak up on each other, throw shot grenades, grenades and other stuff. And the most fun part about having this natural cover is that no building is allowed. So whenever someone is firing at you, like in real life, if you would be fighting someone, you can just hide under the tree, making it a bit more realistic and adding like a huge mini game into this free for all. Again, cool looking map, you should probably play it. So going over to the next one, in my opinion, this one is the most unique one. It's a kind of pyramid, AKA a block. So the whole team itself is you can use only deagles or only snipers or something one, each one of those weapons, because like you can tell, the area itself isn't one of the biggest and there isn't a lot natural cover. So making it a bit more fun, no fall damage or anything like that is enabled. So you can, I guess, do trick shots, try to kill each other while no scoping, while sniping, doing whatever. It's a closed off map, but still, in my opinion, could be really fun using only one gun, not building and just trying to troll each other and that type of free for all stuff, I guess. But I guess I would only recommend this map for people who are into sniping 1v1s or 2v2s. So taking a look at one of the last ones, this is a huge forest free for all. It's up to 16 people. Everything like you can tell is in forest. So basically you can't see each other. You can sneak up on each other. You can make traps. You can do other stuff. No building like per usual and actually you don't get any presets. So whenever you spawn, you just randomly try to find chests, get weapons, get whatever you can and start killing each other. But in this map, whoever dies, he can spectate other people and the new round starts whenever there's only one guy left. In the whole forest itself, there's a bunch of like natural cover, bunch of houses in which you can find chests and fight each other. I guess you can make alliances and start fighting like a 8v8 war on opposite sides, build some stuff, and I guess just make a whole war out of this map. Fun map, especially if you have 16 people. So getting a look at the next map, this is a 1v1 map with bunch of traps and parkour. So you get each one of the weapons that you can find on the ground and you kill each other. Like per usual, you can respawn. There are a few places where you can get as well health and the item respawns every 30 seconds. Each of you spawn in different locations and yeah, start shooting each other. Whenever you drop or fall or whatever, you'll probably die from the trap. This whole map theme is to, I guess, 1v1 in different opposite sides. So if you're up for the 1v1 style map, this is the one for you. And taking a closer look at our last map is this one. So basically the story behind this map is that everyone has died. There are only four people alive and each of you want to kill each other. All your goals in life is to be the last survivor. So you fight. All of you get spawned in different locations of opposite the map sides. And you just run into the city itself, trying to find open chests, get items, search a bunch of buildings and kill each other. No building, no grapplers, no redeploys. So the fight itself will be slow and no response whatsoever. So I guess you'll be playing this strategically. When we take a look at the design itself of the map, it actually looks really good. And especially not that type of futuristic look, but more like an abandoned map in which you can play in. Definitely if you're those type of guys who like abandoned buildings and abandoned maps, this is the one for you. But having said that, I really appreciate you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. So this is my top 10 list of the best ever maps for free for alls aka team death matches. So guys, like per usual, let me know in comment section down below any questions or maybe your map future codes. So I'll check them out and if they will be worth your time and other players time, I will review them in the next top 10 lists. Click like on this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, don't forget to click subscribe to keep to up to date with every video that I make, which is every single day. So if you enjoy this list or maybe are looking for other lists like the hardest maps ever for parkour, maps for the beginners to train in, best aim, editing maps, the most fun ones, or maybe just in general looking for a top 20 huge list of the best ever Fortnite creative maps, or maybe even like best pro player video settings, key bindings they're using or peripherals. Don't worry, I got you covered. I have every single thing you would need and want in Fortnite. Having said that, appreciate you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. My name is Cade, signing out. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. Peace. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true, but the world is pretty cool. Yeah.
I ain't here for the